there's much need in me saying this, but right now one of my favorite booktubers is definitely Emma from the channel Emmy. And uh, I've been watching her stuff since she had like 2,000 um, subscribers. She's now like shot up to a hundred and something thousand. And I've been really inspired by her reading and her recommendations. And for that, I figured it would be a cool video to check out her favorite uh, books and see if I like them. I am a little nervous about this because Emmy is a class classic like fiend. She used to study um, literature and I'm afraid most of her um, classics recommendations gonna go over my head but I picked three books that I'm going to read this week and let's see if I understand them and what I find and if I like them so first off she's always talking about this author this poet Rainer Maria Rilke um, it's like I, her favorite poet of all time and she has read pretty much all of his stuff um, I did already read some of his stuff because of uh, her recommendations on her videos I read the selected poems of Rilke I've read um, what's it called uh, the dark interval and I've read uh, Letters to a Young Poet. So now I'm going to read uh, the book of ours um, Which is Love Letters to God. This is the first book that I picked to do in this challenge. Secondly um, I've heard she's speaking of this book a lot and like tabbing every page and saying how much how amazing the book is and she made it sound so fantastic that I really really wanted to read but it's about a myth a Greek myth and I have no clue when it comes to Greek and Roman myths and and uh, heroes and titans and stuff like that so I actually reached out to her and asked if it would be okay if I read this book without having much knowledge of Greek myths and she said it would be fine that I would love the book um, either way so the book that I'm talking about is an autobiography of Red by um, Ann Carson it's um, about a, a monster I think I feel like I gotta do some research before I, I dive in th this book which is short and it's written in um, po poems in verse but um, this one is the one that I'm most I am most afraid of because since I've already read Rilke I I already know what I'm gonna find and I already know it's not gonna go over my head and I'm gonna like it but this I am terrified of and um, I'm afraid I'm afraid I won't get it I feel really stupid but yeah it says here that it's about Garion a young boy who is also a winged red monster and he falls in love with Heracles a cavalier drifter wow who leaves him in the peak of infatuation yeah so that's the second book the third book she raved about also and she um, tabbed every page she loved reading it she said she wished she could reread it as soon as she finished reading it she said she didn't want it to end and it got me really curious and wanting to read it too so that's 
After Dark by uh, Haruki Mur Murakami. Haru Haruki Murakami. Um, and this is a story about people um, during the night. Like, in this book, there's like a difference between the people who live during the day and the people who go out and, and partake in the happenings of After Dark. And um, I have no idea what it is about after that. I think she, to she spoke about it in her vlogs, a little bit about it. Um, that it's about, firstly, about two sisters. Um, and one of them is sitting at a Denny's in like 2 a.m. or something. Um, I don't know what she's doing there. Um, I intend to find out. <laughs> Um, but that's After Dark by Murakami. So these are the three books that I plan to read on this week and that's my Emmy challenge and I hope I really like them. I hope I really enjoy them and I'll check with you soon and I think I'm gonna start with mm, Murakami. I'm gonna start with Murakami. I'm gonna try to read this one first. Let's go.
Okay, so it's been a day and I finished Muramaki's After Dark and I have to say this was kind of fantastic. I gave it 4.5 stars. Um, it's about two sisters, Mari and Ari. Um, Mari is at a Denny's reading a book and Ari is sleeping this fantastical um, weird sleep that's been going on for like two months um, it's filled with magical realism and symbols that Muramaki leaves kind of um, unexplained for you to interpret yourself and I think that was brilliant I enjoyed this book immensely and all I have to say is thank Emma thanks Emma um, <laughs> this book was a ride it was really really good finished the first one now I'm gonna start the second one which is Autobiography Red that's the one I'm dreading that's the one I'm reading right now I'm gonna start it Okay, so first, uh, Ann Carson explains uh, how Garion was a monster with six feet and six hands and wings and was red and Heracles came and was envy, envy, he envied his cattle that was all red too, so he killed Garion for the cattle and killed Garion's dog too. And now... Actually, the autobiography I read starts, so this was like an introduction, I think, so let's continue. So, um, Heracles is the Greek equivalent of Hercules in Roman myth, and in this autobiography I read, um, and Carson weaves a tale in which instead of killing killing him uh, Hercules Heracles falls in love with Garion falls in love not falls in love but they have like an affair and um, I'm just starting it but this um, passage I think was really nice it says like honey is the sleep of the just and I really like that one so Garion proposes a new ending um, all over the world the beautiful red breezes went on blowing hand in hand instead of Heracles killing him and then it says somehow Garion made it to the ad adolescence um, then he met Heracles and the kingdoms of his life all shifted down a few notches they were two super superior eels at the bottom of the tank and they recognize each other like italics okay you see I'm getting really um, a little bit confused with the way this is written and I have to say some of it is going over my head um, but now and again there are this beautiful um, passages like this one spirit rules secretly alone the body achieves nothing top notch chef's kiss but then um, they want to go see a volcano Heracles asks Garion if he wants to go see the volcano and Garion really wants to let's see what what happens now so this passage pair um, I really liked it was easy to understand um, it's about um, just the relationship between Heracles and Garion 
but then this next page is called grooming and it was really uncomfortable it's like Heracles is grooming Garion into being a lover reality is a sound you have to tune into it not just keep yelling I like this part um, um, he sank onto the bed and lay full length tears ran back into his ears a while then no more tears he had touched bottom feeling bruised but pure he switched off the light fell instantly asleep I relate right okay so I will not lie this was not an easy novel to follow I ended up giving it 3.5 stars um, definitely definitely some of it went over my head um, I think the parts with um, Garion and Heracles were good I think there were passages that the language was brilliant amazing um, but there were some other parts where I just felt um, they were jumbled and um, didn't make any sense to me at least um, I don't know I think maybe this is one of those uh, books that it will capture you or won't it is for you or it isn't and I guess it isn't for me um, I'm really disappointed I really really wanted to love this book I gave it my all and in the end it got 3.5 stars which is not bad at all but again this so much more than after dark took a lot of me to follow and have to I had to be really um, engrossed in it to um, read it now I got the last book to finish which is the book of hours by Ruka and I feel okay about it I feel that it won't be as hard as this one um, I've read Rilke before and this is love poems to God um, I didn't know I actually didn't know Rilke was so religious but let's see what he has to say about God
will deli would deliver um even in his first um uh, poem of this book um i'm gonna read it i already felt like what an amazing poem this was it says the hour is striking so close above me so clear and sharp that all my senses ring with it i feel it now there's a power in me to grasp and give shape to my world i know that nothing has ever been real without my beholding it all becoming has needed me my looking ripen things and they come toward me to meet and be met so if this is how he sees God um, that's exactly how I see God too um, I think I've really understood what um, Rilke means when he said love poems to God this is really um, how I feel too um, there's another one that says I love the dark hours of my being my mind deep it deepens into them there I can find as in old letters the days of my life already lived and held like a legend and understood the knowing comes I can open to another life that's wide and timeless it's so beautiful <laughs> I can't understand how he writes so beautifully um, um, yeah, Rilke is amazing. So, gonna keep reading this one. See you soon. So, I finished The Book of Hours by Rilke. I tabbed it a lot. It was a wonderful ride. I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. This was by far the best one that I've read this week. Um, I've been completely mesmerized by Rilke's writing and um, I think it's really cool that they put the German original and then the translation in each page um, it doesn't help me much because I don't know German but that's really cool for people who who do because um, I heard Rilke use German in uh, his own special way so that's why uh, translators have some a bit of trouble translating his stuff um, this was just as I said perfection chef's kiss just amazing um, uh, that's it those are the books that I was supposed to read for this challenge and I did it I did it so in the end what did I find um, with these three books that um, Emma uh, recommended to us through her videos um, I think she is incredibly intelligent and amazing and her taste is great amazing um, so again after dark fantastic um, Rilke's book of hours amazing autobiography of red confusing but had some beautiful passages so um, the verdict is that she is awesome people should watch her videos they do already I don't have to say that but um this was really interesting this was really um cool and it's given me ideas to do this with another booktuber or maybe other booktubers and it was a really cool experience i hope you liked watching this video and um if you stuck till now leave um a emoji a face emoji choose one and um like and subscribe if you like this video i hope you have a great day and awesome week and i'll see you soon bye